Welcome back, Mangler 3. I'm here. We're going to continue with Gen uh, not Genshin, but Honkai Star Rail. Um, earlier today, we did beating Kokolia, and now we're going to go see how what happens afterwards. It sounded like the game's already started. I'll go ahead and flip over to that. There we are. I actually should. I just did the equilibrium too. I should probably level up my character if I can. Okay, I need I need five of these. There we go. Boom! All the way up to level 50. Let's see who else. Let's try to get Welt. He's a 5 star. Let's see if we can send him. Need three of these, huh? Alright, so he can't get it yet. I have to kind of level him up. Okay. Fair enough. Keep going. Don't mind me. so soon? Word must have gotten out that I was renovating the hotel today. Being the kind-hearted young man that he is, Pete came straight over and offered to help. There we were hard at work when all of a sudden the hotel started shaking. I got everyone outside as fast as I could, but I think Pete was hit by a ceiling tile. You sure he was hard at work? Quick, mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. I don't think that's necessary. Look, he's awake. Peek, are you awake? Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Easy now. Take your time. Oh, oh my back. Oh, I was having such a great nap. How did I... Are you okay, bro? Let me take you to Natasha's clinic. Hey, look where he was lying. What is that? It's an old photo. I thought I lost this ages ago. How did it get? Ah, uh, Gertie, isn't that you in the photo? And old Goethe too. You look so young. Don't I know it? My distant cousin had only just taken over the family business at the time. He wrote me a letter inviting me to head up and take a look. It's been nearly 20 years already. I remember chatting in the hotel lobby and drinking tea. I wonder if we'll ever get another chance to do that. You know, we've got some good news for you, haven't we? Telling Gertie about Is that true? the victory. Bronya, she I I can't believe my ears. Put your faith in Bronya. You and old Gertie will have the kettle on the stove in no time. I, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Turns out things aren't always lost forever. It 
feels like better days are finally on the horizon. Thank you all so much for coming to tell me the good news. I haven't felt like this in a long time. We'll get plenty of guests staying at the hotel again once the passageway is open. But there's no way I'm letting them set eyes on this old place looking like this. Oh, and we're gonna need to expand the menu. Oh dear. Action stations! <laughs> Action stations? Already? Uh, um, uh, oh, ow! Oh, I have my head! Please, let Dr. Natasha know not to worry. We're all okay. You three will have to come and stay again once the hotel is fully renovated. New message. The ceiling of the stellar is complete and the spatial distortion is dissipating. Good job. We'll be back soon. We should be back soon. Don't rush, go at your own pace. The express will be here before you're ready to leave. Great. I'm craving some juice. Pom pom still owes me a glass. How is Jurillo 6? Not great. Even though the influence of the Stellaron has basically just subsided, the existing fragmentum is too deeply rooted. The eternal freeze has lasted a very long time, enough to severely impact the ecology of the planet. In short, the planet probably won't regain the vitality that it once had a thousand years ago in such a short time. Oh, how could this be? Is there anything else we could have, we could do? As Trailblazers, our mission has already concluded successfully. The fate of the world should be had handed back to its inhabitants. Humankind will always has always struggled against austere conditions. and had always managed to thrive in spite of it. Now that the eternal freeze is gone, the fragmentum has lost its momentum to expand. Jarillo 6 has will be revitalized, people in the perseverance of her people. I detected a high frequency spatial energy surge in the north of Jarillo 6. You might be interested in checking it out. Don't worry, the energy is not related to the stellar arm. It's only an echo left behind after spatial dis distortions fade away. Inside the echo, our perceptions of space and time that we are used to will become radically altered, to the point where it might even reconstruct certain scenes from our last, our past experiences. If you're in the mood and wish to relive your those memorable adventures, you can try your luck at places where echoes can be found. Ah! So those echoes we saw oh, in, yesterday, nice or earlier thing. today. But the reality is this. We sealed the Stellaron, but that's not going to solve the problems on this planet. There I was getting excited to tell everyone the good news. We did make a promise. We did all we could. Now it's only a matter. Now it's a matter of time. Does this count as false advertising? We did. That's promise. the cruelty of a Stellaron. Still, compared with some of the other planets we visited, at least this one has hope. So, should we tell everyone the deal? We should tell Branya when the time's right. Let's not dampen the spirit just yet. New feature available, Echo of War. Review past memories of battling formidable foes and obtain trace elements and rare light cones. Click in. Another option. Okay, we get three a week, and we're about to expire, so I'll probably want to squeeze these out at some point. This is the one that we were trying to get for Welt, so let's do that one real quick. Hmm. Alright, Welt, which one do we need? Oh, he wants me to go to Stagnant Shadow. Alright, fine. Ooh. 
Oh boy. He's going to be difficult. 40. Unless we use the support of... Do 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 do. finished her off Natasha. Let's do one more and then we can level up well. Maybe. To betray my customers, I charge extra. Just a little something. <laughs> Oh, there was a mission for this. I didn't know that. Alright, now he needs this. We need five more of these. Done. Ascend. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's see. Can we get Natalia up? She's our healer. She needs two of these. Okay, I don't have enough energy for that, so I can't do that right now. So you're stuck at 40. Sorry, Natasha. Alright, back to business. Let's see what we need to do up here. Natasha's clinic. Oh, hard the guy with the headache from something on the ground. Your exploration will make progress, Mangler 3M, and your journey will be free of pain. Of course, even if you get injured by accident, no need to panic, just leave it to the doctor. Dr. Natasha, we're back, or need any help, Dr. Natasha? I'll do the first one. Oh, is everyone alright? Thanks for your help. Maybe next time we can send a group notification, or for you, everybody. <laughs> I'm flattered. Now we just have to wait for the official news. I hope Rania doesn't keep us too long. Huh. Do you think Sparog and Clara felt the effects of our battle with the Guardian? I think they'll be fine. Plus, Sparog's devotion to Clara is even greater than his hostility to Wildfire. <laughs> <clears throat> if you're worried, you could look for them over at the robot settlement. Guess they need me to go there, and she had another mission, so I'll go ahead and do that while I'm standing here. Need any help? 
You came at a good time. <laughs> there is something you can help me with. According to my patient records, there are a few that haven't come for their follow-up visits. It happens from time to time, but never as regularly as this. <sighs> I'm a bit concerned. Have you heard of the Complex Illness Mutual Aid Society? No. Sounds suspicious. <laughs> I agree. Generally speaking, mutual aid societies like these allow patients to share their experiences and support each other. It's a way of countering all the negative emotional effects of being ill. But there might be more to this society than that. I've got a few patients who have started refusing treatment since joining the society. It certainly makes you wonder. And the most suspicious part is that no matter how much I ask, no one's ever willing to tell me anything about it. And that's where you might be able to help. Got it. You want me to go undercover? Do you? Do I need to be ill before I can make inquiries, or what should I do? Hmm. Pretend to be a patient. Help me investigate this so-called mutual aid society and find out exactly what they're up to. If I find out they're preventing me from doing my job, or if they're bringing harm to my patients, I won't just sit on the sidelines. Can I entrust you with this task? Do I ever refuse <laughs> You're you? as considerate as always. This little clinic has huge numbers of patients to deal with every day. If I didn't have you here to help me out, I wouldn't be able to focus on giving them quality care. Good luck. I'll be sure to thank you properly when you're back. Aha! It's pink purple, which means it's her specific quest. Okay. Well, we'll continue the other one if we happen to bump in that one. Outsiders. For friends of Clara. Hey, Perkins. How did you know that was Perkins? The, 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 thank you for rescuing Clara. Seems like Perkins picked up a stammer. Its language module must have malfunctioned. Can you take us to Clara? It must Outsiders be Windows. Are friends. Of Clara. Follow me. There she is. Oh dear, here comes another fight. You have visitors, Clara. Another nickname for the collection. Nice haircut, Sparag. Are you trying to start another fight? There was a huge shaking just now coming up through the ground. Mr. Sparag said it must have been. Recalculating. Conclusion Engine of Creation 97.66% probability. An uh, old friend of yours? Any other secret weapons you'd like to tell us about? The engine of creation was an immense construction machine created by the architects. It was not built to fight. Well, whatever. We won. Thanks to that giant robot, we were finally able to take care of the Stellaron. And Branya made a promise. The underworld and the overworld will soon be reunited. Which means that you, Sparog, um, you won't have to worry about preserving the underworld for the time being. March, everyone, thank you so much. I wasn't sure you guys would be able to do it, but, but now, Mr. Sparog, what do you say? You guys said you were travelers from other worlds, right? I want to be just like you. One day, 
I'm gonna go traveling to faraway places and make new friends. I know you will. The future is yours to decide. Calculation result. Update. Mission number 0001. Preserve the underworld. Complete. We did it. Oh, got a new message. Text message. March, Don Hung, Mangler. Are you seeing this? This android can actually send messages. And then this one has a drink. Your taste in stickers. The message has been sent. How do you feel physically? Thanks to Sila, I'm fine now. Thank goodness. I've already given the orders to the Silver Main Guards to immediately... Lift the blockade between the Overworld and the Underworld. And some people in the old Underworld should have received, already received the notice. After closing for more than a decade, the cable car station should finally be reopening soon. If you don't mind, I would like you to come to the Overworld for my succession ceremony. Woohoo! We wouldn't miss it for the galaxy. We'll be there. See you there, uh, if I'm not busy. See you there, then. That's our Bronya! Quick as a flash! <laughs> She certainly moves a lot faster than some people I know. If you haven't got anything nice to say right now, zip it. Hard work needs hard rest. You made it. <laughs> I thought you were about to miss out on a moment of history. No way! After all our hard work, how could we miss out on the final celebration? Right? I'll go sit at the children's table. The smell of freedom is in the air. <laughs> I smell it too. <laughs> For Oleg and I, not to mention the other adults, Reopening the passageway means rediscovering old ways of living. Uh, return to normality. <laughs> Survival is no longer the top of the agenda. But for the children who were born into this era, who grew up in this isolation, this will be a new life altogether. Once you've tasted freedom, it's difficult to accept a life of separation and isolation. Those of us whose childhoods were marred by tragedy, we must strive to do better for the next generation. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Here I am talking your ear off again. <sighs> this is a day to remember. We should welcome it with smiles. <sighs> if you have time, talk to the folks here. Every one of them will tell you about their excitement. <laughs> and when you're ready, Let's go home. Where's home? Passing by this pitiful mailbox, you catch a glimmer of what does not belong. The corner of a yellowing envelope hanging limply on the edge of its opening. Take it out, push it in, I have bigger fish to fry. Push it in. You lightly press against the envelope and push it into the dark and unknowable depths of the mailbox. Like a pebble dropped into the ocean, it lost connection with the outside world the moment it vanished into the abyss. Miner's lamp, ancient relic of prison. Finally, finally, I can get back to supervising the cable cars. I thought I'd spend the rest of my life in those mines. Ah, it's you, the liberators of the underworld. You're the first passengers we've had since being sealed off. <laughs> It'll be my honor to get you to the surface in one piece. Do you have a license? Does this thing have a good safety record? Do you have a oh, license? Uh, I'm afraid you might have to make an exception, mister. 
My license has expired, but then I haven't had the chance to go up and renew it for 10 years now. <clears throat> so, ready to climb aboard? Trying to take those kids out for some fresh air or night. No problem! This car won't be leaving without you! Talk to Antonio while we're here. Can't you see I'm busy? Spit it out, stop bothering me. Ah, it's you again. The last time we met, I was left in a hurry. Never had a good got a chance to thank you. I'd like to introduce myself again. I'm Antonia, the developer responsible for the Great Mine and the supervisor for the mining teams. As you saw in the mine, a lot of people in the underground crown on me make a living. Don't you need to supervise the miners? Supervisors make a lot of money, right? That's the first one. Uh, team leaders are responsible for supervision. My job is to coordinate personnel and arrange work schedules. My presence down in the mines will only hinder the miners' work. Why well, make everyone uncomfortable? By the way, I heard you were looking for wildfire. I kind, a kind reminder for you. Oleg's crew takes care of their people. Feel free to come to me when you have financial problems. I heard you were looking for me. Uh, let's see. Oh yes, there's a little, indeed something that can use your help. An elderly mine cart operator intends to retire, but he's not really hitting it off with his current apprentice. I guess you already know what I'm getting at. If the apprentice can't complete his training, and then the master won't be able to retire in peace. So I'd like to ask you to be um, assistant instructor for that not so bright apprentice. Assistant instructor? Uh, no, I know nothing about mine carts. I know just the man for the job. His name is Sampo. I'll say assistant instructor. Relax. Though the title is assistant instructor, it doesn't actually require much technical know-how. That senior minecart operator is very capable, but he has a bad temper and can be very stubborn. Things can be good if he had a gifted apprentice to begin with, but that's sadly not the case right now. So please find a way to help him. What say you? Can you do me this favor? Not a problem. Leave to me. They usually say at the vagrant shelter in the mines. I've already told the senior mine proper operator about this. When you see him, just say my name to him. Not night on the great mine. Okay. Well, I'll look at that in a second. I want to talk to this spore. Is there anything here that is unique? Yeah. There's relics. Recipes to make. And champion chest guard sold out of those already bought those. Wow, so lots of items if I need any in a pinch. Champion headgear, wow. That's a very good one. Let's go ahead and get that full set. Get a bonus for spending a certain amount. Thank you. Oh, they said, listen, what will they? The guards, they move so quickly. Don't you think that's a little fishy? I, I think it's hard to believe, but I've met that young lady, Branya. We didn't talk much, but she felt trustworthy to me. I don't really know what kind of person the new guardian is, but I heard the three outsiders are on good terms with her. Those three are really capable people. If they believe the guards, then there's no reason for us not to. I guess. Huh. Fedora's right. They saved lots of people at the mines. I think they can be trusted. Mommy, what do children in the overworld dress like? Mommy doesn't know either, sweetie. The overworld is different from here. Their fashion is always changing. 
I don't know what's popular these days. Then, will other children laugh at me when we go up? Don't be silly. That won't happen. Mommy's gonna buy you some pretty new clothes as soon as we're on the surface. <laughs> Deal! Thanks, Mommy! the latest in today's news. The, Goth, the Gert Ho Grand Hotel is finally reopening. They're looking to recruit some new taste testers. Hmm. I knew that only relying on the same old recipes would never take the Gert Hotel very far. Ah, uh, the absurdity and the end of the road for Bell Bob. Another, another. Quit heckling, brat. Time to take the kids out for some fresh air. Sisters, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, gather round! The cable car passenger service is about to restart! Whoa! <laughs> Look at the big blue ceiling! <laughs> That's not a ceiling, Hook. That's the sky. <laughs> so this is... The overworld? The air here smells different. <laughs> Less rust and geomero particles floating around. Take a deep breath, children. This is what freedom tastes like. I never thought freedom. I'd live to see the administrative district again. All those years. We've been through a lot, Natasha. <sighs> You're right, Oleg. It's funny. The moment I boarded the cable car, my mind was filled with everything I wanted to do on the surface. But now, I just want to sit down, zone out, and watch the people coming and going. And let the day just pass me by. <laughs> Enjoy the peace and quiet, Natasha. We earned it. <laughs> it's Jafard! Is he here to meet us? He's still on duty. <laughs> he must have recovered quickly. Let's go say hi! Welcome back to the Administrative District, Trailblazers. Trailblazers? First time anyone's called us that on this planet! <laughs> the Architects think it's only right that we should address you properly. Outsiders is hardly fitting anymore. Please allow me to apologize again for what happened in the Restricted Zone. You were only trying to help. I should have trusted Serval's judgment. You were just doing your job. Your sister knows what's up. Ha! Didn't expect you to get wrecked, huh? Excellent fighters. I'd love to have you provide training for the guards, but I know you have places to be. Lady Branya's inaugural address will begin soon. She asked me to pass on her invitation to you. Uh huh? That's sooner than I expected. Is she well enough to. Not really. But Lady Branya insisted on delivering the speech as soon as possible. She wants the people to understand what happened. The address will be held at Everwinter Monument. I hope the three of you can find time to attend. Investigate. Leather suitcase has a vintage design with layer upon layer of dust piling up on it. Typically, seeing such luggage at a transportation station is nothing unusual. This, so it can be said that the suitcase's lonely presence still falls within the realm of what is considered normal, even though it is still somewhat out of the ordinary. 
After all, no traveler would ever throw away the prize luggage on a roadside like that. At least, not for that long. And if it were somehow the case, then the person who left their stuff behind must be habitually forgetful or unbelievably rich. Moreover, this forgetful or rich traveler apparently left something quite extraordinary inside this suitcase. If you press your ears against it and have a listen, you'll hear a sound that goes like this. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It appears to be some kind of mechanized device knocking a sound back from each passing second. Calm, soothing. Oh wait, having this thing here is probably problematic. This suspicious suitcase making ticking sounds in transportation stations this busy. Gosh, that's terrible. Stop right there. Uh, you know what that means, right? I'm sure you know. I know. Call someone. Please, there's a bomb here. I know. Maybe it's a valuable old watch. I don't know. There's a bomb. Shh. Just hold on for a second. It's not just bombs that could be ticking. What about precious gold watches? You be better not start a mass, mass panic before a conclusion is reached. Why not? Fortunately, your reckless yelling didn't cause anyone to notice us. And unfortunately, we still don't know if it's a bomb or just some kind of timepiece. Either way, we've got to open the suitcase to know what's inside. But that sounds a little dishonest. In other words, it, to do something like that goes against societal ethics and would cost you a phrase of high morals, not to mention the guilt you'd have to endure, and the look you'd get from others, the warrant for your arrest by the silver mine guards, and so on. Or you could turn a blind eye to all this, turn around, and leave the place, pretending everything you just witnessed has never happened in the first place. But of course, you will still have to pray that this potential bomb is not going to risk public safety. I have to open it. No problem. Were you blessed with the praise of high morals? Of course I have. I have five of them. If high morals were a real person, they'd probably be frowning so hard at you right now. For one thing at a time, you have nothing to worry about when you consume a praise of high morals to open the suspicious suitcase. So go ahead. You open it. Finally locate the sound of the tricking the source of the ticking sound, and it turns out to be a precious gold watch. The moniker Wallace is engraved on the watch along with the line. Should this item come into your possession, contact Wallace Cambridge Limestein. Your kind of a your act of kindness shall be handsomely recompensated. This watch seems destined to be here for at this very moment, as its wealthy owner has already made preparations for all the foreseeable fates of this watch, with the possible exception that it might be mistaken for a bomb. Okay, so we now have a watch. And it turns up her locker or whatever that means. Thought it was a bomb. Alright, this wants me to go up. Does this mean I have to work up there or walk? like it. Branya hasn't arrived yet, though. Hmm. Let's find somewhere to wait. Look who we found. It's Hook. And Clara. Wow! Did you see that, Clara? A super, super big steel monster just ran past! I don't think that's a monster. Mr. Sparrow's database has information about it. It's called... Hmm... I can't remember. Don't worry about the name! The important thing is I saw what it can do. It has a huge appetite and swallows people whole! And it just so happens to be the mole's next target. <laughs> We'll defeat the Iron Monster and save the people in its tummy! Um... I don't think that's how it works.
mission. Whoa, this must be it. Citizens of Bellabog, I kindly ask for your attention. Lady Branya Rand's inaugural address will begin shortly. Please remain orderly. People of Bellabog, hear me. Today we gather here to celebrate our victory, but it was a sacrifice made by a mighty guardian that delivered us this opportunity. She dispelled an evil that cost us 700 years of suffering. And in the process, she paid the ultimate price. The sacrifice of Kokolia Rand ushers in a new chapter. The blizzard beyond the walls will die away, and the offensives of our Silvermane guards will begin to contain the Fragmentum's advance. In the far north, I witnessed with my own eyes the struggle between the late Supreme Guardian and the evil power that sought to destroy us. In her last moments, the Supreme Guardian told me her greatest regret. The order to seal off the underworld from the overworld. With the passage of time, she gradually came to realize the consequences of that decision. Although tortured with guilt, she could not undo the damage. In her final moments, she wanted us to mark the Stellaron's end by reuniting Bellabog. Overworlders and underworlders must embrace the dawn of a new age. Together. People of the underworld, I dare not ask for your forgiveness. I now know the reality of your decade of suffering. But I want us to work together. We know that without your perseverance and hard work, Come. Bellabog will not recover its former glory. And the seed of civilization will not be preserved. It's really no and on that note, I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to a few guests of the city. Most of you were not aware of their arrival, but it is thanks to them that our world now flourishes with hope. They made me realize that while we remain focused on preserving the ground beneath our feet, we should not forget to look up into the sky. I firmly believe that with the determination of everyone, our world, the world the Trailblazers call Yarilo Six, will no longer be alone among the stars. But before we accomplish that goal, I humbly ask you to follow me into the future. I, Branya Rand, the 19th Guardian of Bellabog, hereby take my oath. Lady Branya! Lady Branya! Long live Bellabog! It sounded like three people. Maybe two. Branya, we're back! March. Don Hung. And you. and you. It's wonderful you made it to the address. Sorry, I know the invitation was very last minute. But I needed to get the news out as soon as possible. The longer people waited, the more rumors started to swirl. The situation risked spinning out of control. Are you fully recovered? Was Sila not here for the address? Are you fully Yes, I'm fine now, don't worry. My mother... She tried to force the voice of the Stellaron into my head. It was a terrible feeling. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. That was some speech, Branya. If I had to talk like that in front of a huge crowd, I'd be shaking head to toe. It was all just a bunch of palatable lies. I hope you never have a similar experience, March. part about preserving the seed of civilization was real. It's what you do as a leader that matters. Sometimes people need to hear white lies. I prefer to be honest with the people. But I also want to preserve their hope. 
Don Hung, wanna talk about Mr. Yang's findings? Allow me to explain. Telling Branya about Welt's observations. Which means... The Fragmentum has already taken root by this point. Even though the Stellaron is sealed, we won't be able to reverse the damage immediately. Stellarons are terrible things. Sorry, we promised you. No, no need for apologies. You've gone out of your way to save this world. You nearly lost your life. I have no right to ask for more. Besides, I agree with Mr. Yang. Ultimately, the fate of Bellabog is in the hands of its own people. We will find a way to root out the Fragmentum. The Astral Express will do everything within our power to help. In that case, as a leader, I must give you a promise of the same weight. We will hold out with everything we have until the day you Trailblazers return. Even if it takes another 700 years, the children of Yarilo 6 will look up to the sky with hope in their hearts. So long, my friends. May the preservation bless your journey. Congrats! That was one heck of a first trailblazing expedition! Worth celebrating, I'd say. On a scale of 1 to 5, how would you rate this journey? Half? What? That run of the mill, huh? Hmm. My scoring criteria are different from yours. <sighs> anyway, we should be asking you. Any thoughts you want to share? Time for a nap. I feel like I could find a hundred, fight a hundred more monsters. What will our next adventure be like? I feel like we should That's the spirit. Come on, we should take some more photos before we head back to the express. Let's go. One more round in the administrative district. Planar ornament. Provides the wearer with various special stats. Gains bonus buffs if the wearer has a complete set equipped. Ah, a fifth and sixth thing to wear. And you're giving me one. Lightning damage boost. Oh, okay. Simulated universe will now give me these. She's willing to wait 700 years for us. Huh. Don Hung, how long can humans live? Here we are! Everwinter Monument! Oh, Hela and Hook are here too! Let's make sure we get them in the background. Maybe we could try for a cleaner composition for this one. Good idea. Let's show them with those ones. Show them. They said we were, and then they. You know what I mean. Who's there? Can your parents? 
parents tell you to not before. <laughs> it's you three. Come on in. I was just talking to Clara about you. <laughs> How have you been, big brother? Mr. Ball's workshop is amazing. There are all kinds of things. I like it here a lot. Miss Serval? Clara is such a well-mannered kid. Meanwhile, the architect's children are still calling me auntie and making me feel old. Let's take a photo again. Photo? <laughs> this feels like one of my fan meetups. <laughs> anyway, for you guys, I do autographs for free. Photo. Oh, I remember. When I was little, Mr. Sparrow took a photo for me. Over here, Clara. Wanna learn some cool poses? Great! I wish the photographers at my shows had your skills! Uh-huh? Am I really that short? I thought... Don't worry. If you eat like Don Hung, you'll be as tall as him one day! <laughs> uh... I'll let that slip. Here, keep it. A little farewell gift from the Astral Express. Huh? You're leaving so soon? I understand. Well, this photo will always be close to my heart. I'll make a copy for you too, Clara. The thanks, Mr. Fall. Big Brother. March. Dan Hong. Thanks for taking care of me. Safe travels. If you have time, please come back and visit me and Mr. Smara. enough sightseeing and photo taking to last me a while. Time to head back to the Goethe Hotel for a good night's sleep. We can sleep when we're back on the express. Not so fast. Last time we were here, that evil Madam Guardian interrupted us before we'd gotten the most out of our luxury suites. Don't you think we should make up for it? Come on. Kimiko and Mr. Yang are grown-ups. I'm sure they'll cope without us for one night. Besides, don't you want to chit-chat with the locals now that Bellabog is full of life again? I know I do. Come around and have a look. Security. <laughs> Diary of a civilian. Something's up the park. You're overwhelmed by a sea sea of weariness. Go to bed. Engine of creation, Ecolia, in ethereal outer space, the gaze of preservation, your fragmented memory on the battle forms a blurry and surreal montage. In the midst of the frantic tapestry of events, you see the moment Ecolia perished with the stellar A strange voice speaks to you in a tush, hushed tone, but this voice passes rapidly. You try to recall what you saw in these fleeting moments, but find no trace. All of a sudden you hear it again, a female voice in your ear. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. That's her. Oh, it was a close thing, all right. Good thing it dawned on me. 
Hey, Sample doesn't have to be a protagonist, right? The likes of us are better suited to, uh, shadowy comic relief, eh? Turns out the Astral Express crew is more fun than I expected. <laughs> you, you liked it? Really? <laughs> Told you so. No, no. I'm in no hurry to leave. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, Epsilon? <laughs> What fun can you get out of a giant vanity fair like that? <laughs> True happiness always entails the manifestation of the dignity of mankind. Now that's a quote I live by. Well, bye for now. Send my regards to the guys and girls in the tavern. Oh, and don't forget to say that Sempo Kuski will catch them for the next one. Time! <laughs> to make my curtain call. To you, my dear audience, I dedicate my performance. I wonder, did I bring a little more joy into your lives? You don't have to answer that, but if the answer is no, then you'll break my heart. We should be getting back to the Express. Time to find March and Don Hong. Mangler 3M, March, Don Hong, how was your rest? Pom Pom has completed the routine three departure inspections and the Nameless is ready to move on to the next world. Come get back to the Express when you've tied up all the loose ends. Alright, oh, you might have so many questions about the final battle with the Supreme Guardian of Bellabot. Well, and I made some simple analyses that might help shed some light on it for you. Got it. We will start with our preparations now. Look how many messages I have. Oh my gosh. How have you been, Mangler? You left Bellabon yet? About to leave. Oh, is that so? We won't trouble you then. No harm in asking, Chief. You can't just leave me hanging. I'll be frank. There's something I'd like your help with. So, I've only been to the over on the overworld for a while. My seat isn't even warmed up yet. And those silver main guards are rushing to get me to be their advisor. You've just finished that thing about the Stellaron, and these impatient fools are already trying to launch a counteroffensive at the Fragmentum. But if you were talking about the Fragmentum, I think only you lot to claim expertise. Another fight? Fragment of the fly home. Good, I like your spirit. If you're planning to join the offense, go and look for a liaison officer named William at the Silver Main Guard or stupid zone. Hey, William is doing the other thing for me too. I picked up that watch of his. The Fragmentum they wanted to clear is called the Corridor of Fading Echoes. Quite a chilling name, isn't it? I'm guessing it'd be easiest pie for you. Alright, I'm gonna go here because I have that other thing to do as well with that. Then I'll continue with other messages. Hey William, I have your watch. Are you Mangler 3 I've heard so much about? It's me. Honor to meet you. Captain Oleg's already hit the front lines. He said you'd definitely come. Let me recap you target this time. Er, charge the corridor of fading echoes and defeat all the fragmented monsters lurking in it. Yes, that's what. Oh yeah, the technology division told me that they set up advanced enemy defenses on the front line, which can be used in combat. I think they're called Showshine Lamp. Ask Oleg on the front lines how to use it. If you're ready to go to the front lines, let me know and I'll take you to him. Let's go. Great, Captain Oleg said. Flee in fear. This way, please. Alright, they recommend me being level 45. I don't have. I need fire. And wind 
And that, oh man. Alright, we definitely need lightning. Oh, I could just pick my people. Okay. I mean, Welt doesn't fit, but he's stronger than everybody. They recommend fire. I'll um, just have to. After picking up the Thousand Core, approach the lamp base to activate the lamp. When the enemy is within the infected range, the enemy's unit gains a fire weakness. Increased fire damage. Snowstorm increases ice damage against all enemies. The buffs are removed. Okay. Interesting. Hey, can't believe you're here. I didn't think you would come. After all, they. You've offered to help us, it'd be imposing for me to ask anything more. I enjoy fighting the fragmental. I admire your fighting spirit. You remind me of myself when I was young. Haha. Ah, corridor of fading echoes. It's way more desolate than I imagined. A decade or so ago, the northern region of Bellabog was in a better state than this. I believe we'll repair the ruins and get rid of the monsters one day. Listen up. The goal of the operation is simple. Destroy all the monsters in the corridor of fading. Echoes. Well, you must have told you about the lamp, right? The technology division taught me how to use these things before you. I'll try to lay it out to you from memory, so listen up. Lamps are two parts. Thermic core, driven by Geomero. Don't underestimate the little gizmo. Packing some real power inside. The second part is the base. Slotting the thermal core into the base activates the lamp, radiates the energy field, weakens the fragmental monster. But the core structure is very unstable, falls out over time, nobody's monitoring it, and will be carted off and hidden by these monsters. If you want to use the lamps to reduce your level in combat, pay close attention to its loose thermic core. Oh yeah, the snow's really coming down now. Be careful when you're fighting, you really don't want to come down with frostbite. Go and defeat them, I'll keep watch here, don't worry about guarding your back. Base and core. Pick up the core, put it in the base. Or you get bait if you need it. Okay. Here's the core. Okay, come here. As long as the core is slotted in the base, the light up. Fire it up, lure him there, destroy him. Bring it on. Oh, that's them? That's the close. Songs for you. Success, got the first one. I have to use seven of them. That was the goal. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Just a little 
operation. This four make it all the way over there. Who did that? And it's those from this bad advice, proceed carefully at every step. Kite around any patrolling monsters, retrieve the core. Lamps are incredible, or something incredible. We should deploy more of them. Alright, so where? Oh, it's right there. Five down, two to go. Come on. The guy down there, we're gonna pull up here. Well, come back. He's up here. Come get me. <laughs> Close call there. I thought 
think we're good. Not a scratch. This song's for you. Keep up. Should be done. Report back to Elder. All right, Oleg, how to go? Well done. Being straightforward has always been your style. There are no more traces of monsters in the surroundings. The corridor should be peaceful from now on. Yet the effects of Fragmentum are here to stay. It's only a matter of time before they make a comeback. I might need your help again when the time comes. I hope you'll keep in touch with William. That boy might be night might not be articulate, but he, he's very reliable. Please be more patient with him. These are for you. You can treat them as my rewards for you. Take care. Obsidian goggles. Fire damage increase. Nice. New difficulty level unlocked. Oh boy. Eye for an eye difficulty. Oh, we just unlocked a fight? Um, oh, this is the upper difficulty? Yeah, this is going to be 13 turns. That's going to take a while. Okay. Well, I am at the point. I think I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in this video again. I'll double check to see if anyone else is on. We can uh, raid somebody. Hey, <laughs> Tink Tink Games is on, so we can raid them again. But last time raiding didn't didn't really notice. So let's do. Actually, let's just go ahead and cut it right now. We won't raid anybody. Anyway, have a great Sunday. See you guys next week if I'm on. Have a good one.